Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back. Alright, this is going to be a thrifting haul. So I went to Goodwill today and I found quite a bit of stuff. Alright, so without wasting any time, let's just get right into it. I have found Stick Eponymous stickers. I absolutely love their stickers. These were 99 cents. Um, actually, I take that back. This one right here, this Mexico one, was 99 cents. I probably should, um, you know, get you in frame. That might be helpful, huh? And, oh, I guess I didn't know I had three of the Flower Power sheets. I will have to, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these ones. Since I have three of them, I might actually just end up swapping a sheet. And then, so I have these four, and then I, or I'm sorry, five, because I have these ones, which I thought were actually really cool. And then I have this sheet. It all, all it says is, is um, homemade, actually, what did that say? Oh, made in China. And then it just says this on the bottom, which tells me nothing. But these are beautiful, and I love them. Those will probably go in my planner. And then I just have, like, some vellum stickers, which... I'm actually really excited to use and then we have it just looks like some caption bubbles and oh these are stickopotamus too I didn't actually realize that I don't know why I didn't realize that and then I just got some postcards you'll have to forgive me I am extremely tired I've been running on four hours of sleep and you know mom life because my son is still teething and he has found his voice y'all he has learned how to use his voice and the lungs this one's a little blurry this this postcard and this next one he has learned how to use his lungs to get my attention and to communicate when he likes something and doesn't like something and wants something it's been a lot it has been a lot <laughs> He is such a little stinker, and he's so smart. He's getting bored with his toys. Whoops, I'm messing up my entire setup here. And he just, oh man, I've had to start doing like sensory. I shouldn't put those there because I will forget that they're actually there. He is needing sensory. Okay, what are we doing next? And I'm not going to do that because that's just a bunch of boring uh, embroidery. So I'm very bored at home and I need something to do with my hands. I, the box is probably not going to fit because I have my camera really close to my setup and maybe if I can put it this way I can fit it. And so yeah, I thought for some reason, so this was brand new, I had opened it when I got home because I just kind of wanted to see, I did not see that it had said create your own. But the really cool thing is, is that it says it includes a 24 book and everything you need to create one hoop embroidery project inside. Words apparently are hard. Well, I mean, yeah, of course they're hard. You know, I got four hours of sleep and I've, I've been having four hours of sleep for, you know, months now. And, um, with the occasional seven or eight hours, if my husband is able to, um, market day. That's cute. If my husband's able to um, take like baby duty, you know, I personally, I don't really ask him to do it at night to take baby duty because um, his job involves a lot of sharp tools and I don't need my husband going to work <laughs> and um, slicing a finger open and then being out of work for months. So that's why it's just a personal decision. It's not that, you know, anything other than that. And I'm okay with that however I will say that every once in a while he'll like he'll tell me he'll be like babe you are not sleeping in the bed tonight you're sleeping on an air mattress so we bought an air mattress um these are just envelopes that I bought this whole entire stack was uh 99 cents let me just yeah they were 99 cents and I like envelopes because I do a lot of swapping I'm sorry I'm trying to like put them the right way and it doesn't even matter right now these are kind of cool these have a uh, these are thicker, almost like a, like a, what is, almost like these envelopes were, like, homemade.
from actual like they made their their own paper is what I'm trying to say. That's actually pretty cool. And yeah, I do smell paper because I'm weird and I love the smell of paper. And guess what? I ain't apologizing for it. This is paper. Oh, I thought that was like the brand. So these are kind of cute. These have just hearts around the border. And the, this is actually, these are really cute. These are a great size. I'm always on the lookout for envelopes of different sizes because wow, this is, um, I got this placement there too. It was 99 cents. I'll just put those there. And I'm always on the lookout for envelopes because I swap a lot of stickers. I also just do a bunch of different things, crafting things, and I love it. And then this is just a, a, a magnetic fridge pad. And I thought this was actually really cool because a lot of times I will write down in my planner what I'm going to make and what I need. But, and then also... I guess I just said that. Wow, I'm so tired. Okay, I have coffee. I It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I probably should not be drinking it, but it's okay. All right. So I am just going to put that there. It's whatever. Anyways, I have my planner. And not always do I open up my planner when I'm in the store and go through what it is that I am needing. And, yeah, it, it'll just stay in my purse. And then I'll be like, oh, I actually needed whatever, whatever. I am I know I'm not making a lot of sense right now, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is really cool. So this was all one, and it was $1.99. And it comes with a lower antelope canyon Ken's Tours. That's a really cool keychain I that's actually really cool I'll probably hang that up and these are wood I don't know if you can hear this these are wood postcards they're lantern press what they smell good these smell like birch um they smell like birch <laughs> made with sustainable birch they absolutely do smell like it these are so cool all right so here's the first one and i know these aren't no dollar 99 so shout out to goodwill for giving me a good deal and then i keep hitting my coffee cup that's gonna drive me nuts and then this is antelope canyon And I'm purposely enunciating my words because I talk fast and sometimes I stumble over my words and they don't always sound correct or I mispronounce words because I'm tired, what have you. And yes, I am purposely enunciating my words. Okay, that's so cool. I think I'm going to keep the, these wooden ones. This one I'll probably send to a friend. This was not in the, the package. It was just a different one on the shelf that I found. I found this one first. All right. Which is so cool because I've not found postcards except for one time at a different thrift store. And today I... Oh, crap. That was really loud. My son is sleeping. And I'm in the living room because my... Yikes, I don't want to wake him. He is so exhausted. So, what was I saying? Oh, today I found a ton of postcards. I am grateful for, and then you just um, put whatever you're grateful for. That's actually really cool. Yep, I am smelling them. <laughs> These are really nice postcards. Uh, this will be This will be pretty fun too to use as well. and what else okay so really cool i don't know if y'all know and i don't know you're not going to be able to see this but goodwill has their items where i live at least they use baskets to store their items on their shelves right i don't know if y'all know but you can literally take the basket if you find one that you like okay Hopefully some of you didn't know that because when I actually realized that, I was super excited. These baskets, I think this basket is actually from Target. 
so I mean it probably I have um, quite a few of these style um, that have just like the see-through pattern I have quite a few of these because I I've thrifted a bunch but then I also bought a few and I needed a bigger basket for my stickers because I have a sticker obsession and I love stickers and I always will and I'll probably always buy them this was 99 cents it's a journal now I will say that this is not my style whatsoever I um, do not like this old vintagey type I don't even know what you would call this grandma style no offense to anybody who is a grandma it reminds me of my grandma is why i'm saying grandma style <laughs> she just had some stuff that was old when i was little and i just remember seeing it and stuff like this was just yes anyways this is not really my style the the cover is not like i probably will just put something to cover this up and maybe try to jazz up the front now i will say that i do like the color orange it's kind of a pumpkin-y like a muted pumpkin orange i guess the this is a lot brighter you can well no i don't know if you can tell on camera but this color is a lot brighter than this color and if this has not been used that i have seen so far and i'm just really excited i liked the length of the paper you know what's really funny is that when i saw this i was like oh that actually looks like a hobonichi weeks except it has the rings down the middle well the, the spiral rings but still i thought that was pretty cool so i'm going to probably use this as a planner i'm not sure how but yeah, I don't love Hobonichi Weeks, but I just thought that that was really awesome. We're already at 12 minutes and my camera only has space for 22 minutes. So moving on, this was still in the plastic. I'm not going to take it off. This was $1.99. We have friends with children that come over. And then of course, when my son gets a little bit older, I thought that was really, um, I thought that was a good deal. And then, all right, I'm really excited about this one. I did not know that Pentel made colored pens. Now, there are, I know it says color pen, but it's more of a actual um, marker than anything. I just saw that it said five highlighters on the front. So this is not full, but they're like a felt tip. I don't know. Is it going to... Hopefully that is focusing. It looks like it for me, but yeah, I'm... Do I have... Oh, I do. I have my little journal. We'll just do it right now. Oh, this one's dry. And, you know, you win some, you lose some, which is fine. I'll go through and um, test all of these, you know, if they're all dry. So that one's not totally dry, but it's getting there. What is this? This is a fluorescent marker and it's Pentel. I just did not know that they made this. Okay, that's kind of dry. I mean, hey, for $2, I'm not right. It was $2. Let me double check. I think it was. Yeah, it was $1.99. So for $2, I am not complaining. And I'm probably going to try to find this again because I did try this pen. Well, this, I'm going to need to move my coffee because that thing is about to spill. So this one is, actually works. It, literally that's what this is I tried it on my hand at the store I, I tried this one marker and I was like okay I'll buy it for two dollars and I figured like I said that these weren't I'm just gonna leave this here because I'm probably gonna end up using that I think I don't know if I bought any more pens anyways moving on okay so don't judge who played with Polly Pockets when they were young raise a hand because I did and it's nostalgic. I love Polly Pockets. Now, they do not make them like they used to, but you can still find them, the old ones back in like the 80s. I love Polly Pockets. I don't hate this new version. I, my husband and I do plan on having more children and I'm hoping that we have a girl and this is why I bought them. If not, then I'm keeping them because I love them and I don't have to apologize for that, <laughs> nor do I care. Um, how do I open this? I know I did this at, okay. I'm just going to show you. So this does have some pieces in it. And again, this is probably not, it's not going to fit in. I mean, I probably could pull it up. 
my beard. Don't, if you see anything, I mean, that's all my crafting, my, my stuff I bought today. How cool is this? We're going to have to do a part two series because I'm almost out of time, but it's like a little, what is this? Like a little wardrobe and you have like an ironing board. It looks like in there. And then you have like a little baby bed and it folds down or it does. It does something. I know it does something. I'll mess with that later. Oh. And then you have like the little bath. What? Like how cool is this? Y'all, I, okay, so I saw this one, right? And then I saw, what is, I can't even get that out right now. We're just going to leave that. But it has like two chairs in there back here. And anyways, I saw this and I was like, is that Polly Pocket? I was like, there's no way. That's not a Polly Pocket. And then, oh no, okay. And then, and then there's this one. It's just a really cute little tree house. The chair is stuck there, but um, probably like what? This is a trampoline, I would imagine. Um, yeah, if you hear scraping, it's because uh, my neighbors are, uh, they are shoveling the sidewalk to their back door and it's right outside of our living room window i found this twizzler pen pouch with that which i thought was awesome i think it fits about 15 10 15 pens in it and i just thought it was a really good um what do you call it like travel pouch if i wanted to take something with me and then this is the other side. This was 99 cents. They had a whole entire bin full of Reese's peanut butter cups. And I did have one in my cart. And then I was like, you know, I can't actually do that because I'm trying to eat healthier. And <laughs> I've been struggling with it because I'm bored at home. And um, this one I haven't figured out how to get open yet. I'm imagining I just pull it open. Um, oh, there we go. I didn't want to break it at the store. Whoa. Okay. This is so cool. This came with a lot. I didn't even know. This is so cool. Okay. Um, see, this is why I said, even if we never have a girl, <laughs> um, keeping it for me and I'll like, these are so fun. Okay. Is it going to go on there? Now, granted, I know that if we have a daughter, she's not going to play for it. Play for play for it wow play with it for like three years right because um she might oh look at that little cat look <laughs> don't pay attention to my thumb my skin is so dry can i i'm gonna come over here because my phone setup is like so messed up look at how cute that is oh my gosh okay did it there we go all right, anyways, moving on. Moving on. And then I have two more of those in this ginormous bag over here. And this one, okay, because they all open different. So this one just has some other stuff in it as well. And this was, I believe this was $1.99 too. And these are not like, I don't know if y'all know, but um, that's so funny. It's like a virtual ski uh, game. Oh, this is like an arcade. Maybe. That eh, kind of looks like it. That's actually really cool. Anyways, I don't know if y'all know this, um, but what was I going to say? Oh, these are not $1.99 when you buy them new. I'm, there's more. I think I'm going to go back and get the rest. I was telling my husband about it. I was like, babe, you're never going to guess what I found. Oh, this one's cute too. I didn't open this one at the store. I just actually saw it. I need to clean all these too. But I was like, you're never going to guess. And he's like, what? And so I told him and he was like, yeah, why didn't, that's so cute. He was like, why didn't you just get all of them? I was like, I, I don't know. I felt bad and I didn't want to like spend the money. That's cute. That's a vending machine down here. <laughs> I can probably get that out with like tweezers. I like these tweezers. I could stick in there and get them. Anyways. Um, that is, alright, and then this was just like a cute little memo notepad, again 99 cents, this is 99 cents, and it is hollow, and I actually saw this, I normally don't buy ribbon, but when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, I can put this on my journal, 
and so or even my planners like that's probably what I'm gonna use it for and then I'm just gonna move my setup very slowly because my leg is starting to go numb okay yep just paper cut myself see y'all hot mess express over here all right we're at 20 minutes okay then I just found some crayons for 99 cents. Who doesn't love crayons? And then I just found like this really cute games for your brain. It says it's $9.99 on here, but it was 99 cents. And I thought that um, this just looked like a cute little game. I'm not even sure. It's, I was going to say it's probably for kids, which is exactly what it just says on there. But yeah, age is five and up. Anyways, I just thought that this was cute. I like to buy things for my son. Um, even though he's not going to use them for quite a few years, it doesn't matter. It's just having them on hand. And then I found a, I know this is like big and bulky, but just hear me out. I've been wanting a label maker, but I don't want to spend 70 plus dollars on one. I just, I don't. <laughs> and this was on sale for $4.99 I think I, oh it's right there for $4.99 I'm sorry I have my coffee in my other hand and I was like you know what five dollars if it doesn't work I'm gonna have to buy a DC cord but it's fine because you can get those off of Amazon and they're super inexpensive and I might even have one at the house but like the little charging cord and then all you have to do is just buy the tape which again you can totally get this from amazon so i was like you know if it doesn't work it's a whole five dollars and i'm not that sad about it so i'm gonna stop this here and i'm going to upload it and then i'm gonna come back and do a part two so i will see you in the next video bye